The Feymarn Belt Tunnel is one of the most ambitious engineering projects of the 21st century, a colossal undertaking that is reshaping the geography of European travel. Spanning an incredible 18 kilometers beneath the waters of the Baltic Sea, it is quietly taking form between Denmark and Germany, promising to forever change the way people and goods move across the continent. For decades, the waters of the Feymarn Belt Strait have separated the Danish island of Lowland from the German island of Feymarn, with ferries providing the only direct link. The ferry journey takes about 45 minutes in good conditions, but delays caused by rough seas, strong winds, and busy schedules are common. Soon, this will be replaced by a direct, permanent, and weatherproof connection, one that will take just 7 minutes by train and about 10 minutes by car. The transformation is profound. A crossing that once depended on nature's mercy will become a swift, predictable passage under the sea. The scale of the tunnel is unlike anything attempted before. It is not bored deep into rock like many other tunnels, but built as an immersed tunnel, the longest ever of its kind. Engineers are creating gigantic concrete segments, each over 200 meters long, in purpose-built construction facilities on land. Each segment is so massive that it weighs up to 73,500 tons, equivalent to the weight of about 13,000 elephants. Once built, these segments are sealed at both ends, floated out to sea using tugboats, and carefully lowered into a pre-dug trench on the seabed. Precision is critical. Sophisticated GPS positioning systems, divers, and underwater survey drones work together to guide each segment into its exact location. Once in place, the segments are joined, sealed, and secured to create a continuous underwater corridor that will eventually stretch from shore to shore. The process must be repeated nearly 90 times until the full length of the tunnel is complete. Inside the tunnel, there will be two separate tubes for road traffic, one for each direction, and a third central tube dedicated to trains. The train section will be built to handle both passenger and freight traffic, with high-speed trains connecting Hamburg and Copenhagen in just two and a half hours, down from the current four and a half. The impact on freight is equally significant, as goods that currently move by truck or via ferries will be able to travel faster and more efficiently by rail, cutting transportation times and costs while also reducing carbon emissions. Trucks will still be able to use the road lanes, but many shipments are expected to shift toward trains because of the speed and reliability the tunnel offers. Environmental considerations have been central to every stage of planning and construction. The Feymarn Belt Strait is home to unique marine life, including porpoises, seals, and numerous fish species. Construction work in such an environment carries the risk of noise pollution, water disturbance, and habitat disruption. To address this, the project uses noise-reducing bubble curtains to protect marine mammals from the loud sounds of underwater construction. The work is carefully timed to avoid breeding seasons, and dredging routes have been designed to avoid disturbing the most sensitive areas of the seabed. When completed, the tunnel will also help the environment in a broader sense by enabling more train journeys in place of flights or long-distance truck routes. This shift toward rail is expected to remove millions of tons of CO2 emissions over the tunnel's lifetime. The tunnel is being built by Femern AS, a Danish government-owned company, in partnership with major international contractors. The project's estimated cost is around 7 billion euros, financed partly through government funding and partly through loans to be repaid by toll revenues once the tunnel is in operation. Cars, trucks, and trains will all pay to use the tunnel, and these fees will help cover maintenance and operational costs, as well as the repayment of construction loans. The economic case is strong. The tunnel will reduce travel times, make trade more efficient, and create new business opportunities across Northern Europe. In the construction phase alone, it has already created thousands of jobs, from engineers and divers to factory workers producing the tunnel segments and support staff handling logistics, safety, and planning. From the very first concept drawings, the tunnel has faced numerous challenges and debates. 
environmental groups voiced concerns about the impact on marine habitats. Some ferry companies opposed the project, fearing the loss of their business. Legal disputes and planning approvals took years to resolve, with both Danish and German authorities conducting extensive reviews to ensure safety, environmental protection, and economic viability. In the end, the project received the necessary approvals, backed by the belief that its long-term benefits far outweigh its temporary disruptions. The technology inside the tunnel will be state-of-the-art. Advanced ventilation systems will ensure clean air for drivers and passengers. Sensors will monitor air quality, traffic flow, and structural health 24-7. Emergency exits and safe refuge areas will be spaced regularly along the tunnel, connected by cross passages that allow people to evacuate from one tube to another in case of fire or accident. Fire suppression systems, high-tech lighting, and automatic incident detection will all be part of the design, making it one of the safest tunnels in the world. The tunnel's construction is also a story of international cooperation. Engineers, architects, and workers from multiple countries are collaborating to bring it to life. The project has required harmonizing Danish and German technical standards, laws, and safety regulations. It is not only a feat of engineering, but also a diplomatic achievement, showing that with shared vision and determination, cross-border megaprojects are possible. Each immersion of a tunnel segment is a major event involving hundreds of people, multiple vessels, and precise coordination. The segments are towed into position during calm weather, as even small waves can make alignment difficult. Divers inspect the joints underwater, and the segments are locked into place with powerful mechanical seals before being filled with water to sink into their final position. Once secured, sand and gravel are placed over the tunnel for protection, and the seabed is restored as closely as possible to its original condition. When the tunnel opens, it will become part of the Trans-European Transport Network, linking Scandinavia with Central and Southern Europe. For travelers, it means faster, more convenient trips. For businesses, it means more reliable supply chains and better access to markets. For the environment, it means fewer emissions from ships, trucks, and planes. And for the people who live in the region, it means new opportunities, whether in tourism, trade, or employment. Over the decades to come, millions of people will pass through the Femarn Belt Tunnel, often without thinking about the incredible effort that went into creating it. But behind every smooth journey lies a story of vision, problem-solving, and perseverance. This tunnel is more than a shortcut under the sea. It is a statement that challenges can be overcome with innovation and cooperation. It is a modern-day equivalent of the great bridges, canals, and railways of history, a piece of infrastructure that will define an era and serve generations long after the last concrete segment was put in place. Decades from now, it may be hard to imagine that there was ever a time when a trip from Hamburg to Copenhagen required a slow ferry crossing or a long detour. The Femarn Belt Tunnel will have become a natural part of the European transport landscape, as ordinary as a highway or a bridge. Yet, for those who remember its construction, it will always be a symbol of human ingenuity, built in a place where the sea once divided nations, but now connects them in a shared journey forward. Construction is just part of the story. Behind every concrete segment is a human story of hundreds of engineers, divers, project managers, and construction workers dedicating years to solving unprecedented challenges. Weather delays, material shortages, and engineering puzzles require creative thinking, adaptation, and teamwork. Each segment of the tunnel represents months of preparation, collaboration across nations, and an incredible attention to detail. The precision required is breathtaking. Even millimeters of misalignment could compromise the tunnel's integrity, so every action is calculated and rechecked repeatedly. The project also carries historical significance. For centuries, trade and travel across the Baltic Sea relied on slow, weather-dependent ferries and cargo ships. Towns on both sides of the Femarn Belt developed with these constraints in mind, limiting the speed and volume of commerce. The tunnel changes this permanently, creating a continuous, uninterrupted link that will shift economic activity, trade patterns, and cultural exchange. 
it effectively brings the two nations closer, creating not just a physical connection, but also strengthening social and economic ties. The engineering innovations extend far beyond construction techniques. The tunnel will include sophisticated monitoring systems capable of detecting minute movements in the structure, tracking ventilation, temperature, and air quality in real time. Emergency response teams will be able to coordinate instantaneously using integrated communication networks. Fire and accident simulations have informed the design to ensure passenger safety under every conceivable scenario. This attention to detail ensures that the tunnel is not only a marvel of speed and efficiency, but also of safety and resilience. Cultural impact is another layer of significance. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel represents a unifying vision for Europe a symbol that nations can come together to achieve shared goals despite differences in language, regulation, and planning approaches. It reflects a commitment to sustainability, innovation, and long-term thinking. It is an investment not only in transport infrastructure, but also in the social and economic cohesion of the region, illustrating how vision and collaboration can overcome challenges once thought insurmountable. The tunnel's operational phase promises transformative effects. Travelers who once hesitated to make short trips across the strait will now move freely and quickly. Goods can flow without interruption, strengthening regional economies. Tourist destinations in Denmark and Germany will see increased access, boosting local businesses and promoting cultural exchange. Freight logistics will shift significantly toward faster and more predictable rail transport, reducing reliance on ferries and trucks and contributing to Europe's climate goals. The Femarn Belt Tunnel will endure for decades, a permanent testament to the power of human ingenuity. Its submerged passage is an engineering triumph, a symbol of international collaboration, and a beacon of innovation for future infrastructure projects around the world. When people drive or ride through it decades from now, they will pass beneath the Baltic Sea, unaware of the immense technical challenges overcome to make the journey possible. But the tunnel's presence will continue to influence travel, commerce, and cross-border collaboration for generations, shaping Northern Europe's economic and social landscape. This project is more than steel and concrete. It is a story of vision, determination, and cooperation. It is a reminder that even in the face of enormous challenges, nations can work together to create something lasting and transformative. The Femarn Belt Tunnel represents a future where travel is faster, safer, and more sustainable, proving that with human ingenuity and collaboration, even the most ambitious projects can become reality. It is a lasting legacy that will inspire engineers, planners, and ordinary people for generations to come. A submerged corridor under the sea that connects not just lands, but the ambitions, dreams, and futures of two nations. If you like, I can now create an even longer, fully narrated 15-17-minute voiceover script, including immersive descriptions of the underwater construction, marine life protection, and personal stories of engineers and workers, so it feels like a documentary. Do you want me to do that next?